Hello everyone. United 1, Stoke 1. One of the worst football insides that I've seen at Old Trafford in a long, long time. I'm talking about Stoke, not about United. And they got a one-all win. They they took their chances. You know what? That's probably going to be the theme of this, is that who took their chances? Because it wasn't us. We had a lot of shots. Um, I think over 20 shots. A lot of shots on target as well. We did make the keeper work for a few. Uh, Pogba whizzed one just around the top post, but he hit one on target, maybe a little bit easy for the keeper. Zlatan hit a few at the keeper, pulled a few wide. The one that he pulled out for Jesse, the save that he made off uh, Jesse was was a world-class save. The keeper definitely kept Stoke in it. And I suppose half of me thinks you put the ball on target, then it's up to the keeper to work. And I've always said, I say to Jaden when he's playing football, if you put the shot on target, then I'm never going to moan at you. Because it's up to the keeper to then make the save. If you miss the target, yeah, you're going to get a lot of abuse, but... You put the shot on target. We put plenty of shots on target today to win the game and didn't win the game. Rattled the bar again. We uh, we unbelievably dominated possession, but again, didn't, didn't find that penetration in the final third. It almost seems to me like the easy option is to, is to just pass it back. It's for someone to take the ball and just find the pass because there's options for easy passes. But sometimes it's not the easy pass, is it? Now, some people are going to say that that's Louis van Gaal. You know, that constant probing, looking for a, a pass. And they're going to say that's still in us from Louis van Gaal. That think safety first rather than take the risk. So Alex Ferguson always told his sides to play with risk, especially in the final third. You have to commit a man. You have to do something. You have to force something. So we're used to seeing football where, I mean, let's not get it wrong. Teams used to come to Old Trafford and put 10 men behind the ball since the dawn of time. But we always found a way. Sir Alex Ferguson's teams always found a way. And I'm not, I'm not talking about a style of play or anything like that because there's more than one way to skin a cat. What we're doing at the moment is we are just, we look too safe. We look like we're playing within ourselves. There's nobody grabbing hold of the game and going, watch this. There's no one grabbing hold of a man and, and beating him. There's no one committing players. You're the only one who is, is Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford is looking like he wants to run at people. He wants to beat people. And that's why he's a breath of fresh air. To his credit, when he came on, Marshall sort of did the same thing. But there's far too often that you see United players... Just happy to pass it around the box. And that's very easy to defend against. You just get your 8, 9, 10 men behind the ball. And you pack that box and you make it tight. Which means any balls that are fired through in between. They're very easy to deal with. You don't know where they're going. You know who they're going to. And you can deal with and shut down and close out that ball. Or make it extremely difficult. And if the guy's not got an absolute perfect first touch. Then you, you can dispossess him and you can oof the ball up the pitch and you can make us reset. And that's what seems to happen a lot today. We play, the number nine's got his back to goals. Latin's very good at that. But the lack of movement in behind, and it's not just always a lack of movement, it's a lack of adventure with the passing sometimes that there was the ball on and it didn't get played several times. The best chance was the one, I think Pogba missed it. There was a nice little bit of interplay. On the right hand side of the box. It came into the centre of the box. And I'm sure it was Pogba that missed it. That was our best football today. Uh, and I think involved in that was Pogba, Mata. Um, it might have been Herrera. I can't remember who else involved. Zlatan may have been involved as well. That was our best part of a bit of football. We did it in the second half at times as well. Uh, we broke with Blind and Pogba going one, uh, playing a 1-2. And I think it ended up with Marshall. And uh, that's good football. That's nice football. I don't understand why we can't do more of that. When United start to go it through the gears and play that one-touch, really fast football, we look fantastic. But that doesn't happen like... it might Like, like today, it happens twice in a game. If that happens four, five, six, seven times a game, where, do you know what? If it doesn't come off at the end, you're not really bothered. Because you've looked like you're about to do something. When you're 
when you're taking three, four touches and you've, you've got time to look around and, and think about who you're going to pass it to, well, the opposition's got a lot of time to think who you're going to pass it to as well. And more often than not, they can go and mark people. When you're one touch zipping it around everywhere, they don't know what's going on. That's when you twist people up. That's when you find making massive yardage up the pitch. It's risky, but it pays off ultimately. And I think we can put it down today to not taking enough risks in the final third. Now, we do seem happy to take risks in the middle third, which I'm not for. You take risks in the right place. Like, there was at one point, I remember saying to my dad, like, I hate it when he does that. And it was, uh, there was a ball played back to, to Big Dave. And he controlled it into the path of his net, not away from the path of his net. And I was like, Phew. the ball came back at him with a bit of fizz as well. And I was like, that's the sort of fuck up that you see ends up spinning off into the net. It was, just seems to be like simple, basic things just not really coming off for us. If you go through the 11, I think Dave does better with that shot. I mean, not going to go too hard on him because he generally has fuck all to do. And when he does have stuff to deal with, he deals with it. There was a couple of decent saves from him today, but the one that mattered didn't fucking happen. Then you've got the defence. Valencia played all right. Bay was probably man of the match for me. I thought he was he was pretty fantastic throughout. Smalling had a fairly decent game. Blind was all right, I guess, at left back. Um, Show some his range of passing. His distribution is brilliant, isn't it? We knew that about him anyway. Um, made a thundering tackle as well. I think it was second half. Midfield Herrera did decent. Uh, I've seen the replay of that challenge on uh, Joe Allen. I think it looks bad because Allen's foot gets planted. Otherwise, it's probably just one nothing challenge. Um, but it ends up looking quite bad because his foot got planted. Um, Pogba just was clumsy, wasn't he? He would do something half decent and then he would just do something that would blow your mind and you're like, not in a good way either, in a, in a bad way. And you're like, what the fuck is he playing at? Mata showed some excellent touches. Couldn't really understand why he was the one that made way for Rooney to come on. Rashford wasn't really himself today, but probably the most dangerous looking player still. Jesse Lingard, if he could just add something to his attacking game, he'd be a fantastic team player. There was time after time that I saw him working hard down that right wing, doubling up with Valencia, or when Valencia was out of position, which happens occasionally, then he was there covering up, and he was there. That's why he's preferred. That's why he gets games, because he does the hard stuff that barely anyone's noticing. He's always there. His positioning defensively is great. But sometimes, again, he's a little bit too safe. There was times when you think, just have a fucking run. There was at one point, Martin Zindi was so far back off the defensive line for Stoke. But he was just sort of in the pocket of the fullback. And Valencia, you could see, was like, make a fucking run and I'll throw it in behind for him. And he had maybe 15 yards from where he thought he was offside to where he would have actually been offside. And that's the sort of space that you need to exploit. That's the sort of space where... I mean, he's not really a natural winger. He was always sort of played a little bit more centrally when he was coming through. And he's done better centrally as well. He has played on the wing quite a lot, but that's more of just a filling in sort of thing. He's not what you would call a traditional winger, is he? He, he? he generally runs in for himself. He doesn't. He's never hit the byline and thrown crosses in. That's not the Jesse Lingard that you see. But I do like him as a wide player. One, for the work rate that he offers. And two, because I think he links up play quite nicely. But if he'd have just had that that bit more of an edge to him today, the ball would have got played in for him and he might have been able to create something. And again, this is all... This all means nothing if Zlatan scores in that first minute or if the chance that Jesse himself has later on in the first half goes in. Then this whole argument becomes redundant because we've probably gone on and scored three, four, five goals past this absolutely dog shit Stoke side. But that's not how it happened. We got a goal... And I thought, do you know what? We'll probably go on and win this now 1-0. And then their goal seemingly come from pretty much nothing. Just silly mistakes. And they celebrate like they've just won the fucking league. And we go home feeling like we've just lost. And it looks like it's going to be extremely difficult. We've we got out of jail slightly because City didn't, um, didn't manage to pick up a win today. But they're still top of the league. You could say we not capitalised. You could just say that 
even if we'd have won it's still sort of a, a, a phrase we used a lot last season papering over cracks the signs was there on Thursday night and it was an almost identical team that played in an almost identical fashion um, there was a little bit more movement uh, there was a little bit more quality with the ball at the foot and that was down to Herrera playing I think that was down to Blind being in the team but ultimately the whole attitude and tempo of the team I was expecting a change from Europa and we didn't get it we just did not get it and people coming away making excuses saying we was unlucky well do you know what I'd rather be good than lucky I would rather we actually get the job done because people are saying like shoulda woulda coulda but the actual fact of the matter is that we didn't. And that's all that matters. There's no little asterisks on the Premier League title at the end. Like, do you know what? These lot might have won it. But United was dead unlucky that season. That don't fucking matter. What matters is whose name's on the trophy at the end of the season. And it doesn't matter how you get there. But we're not picking the points up at the moment. And that needs to change sharpish. Because October is a hell of a month for us. We go into an international break now where we're all going to stew on it. For weeks and weeks pissing everybody off constantly it's going to get over analyzed even by myself i'm going to over analyze it put far too much meaning on it because there's fuck all else to do but then we come we face liverpool and that might be a blessing because sometimes form cliche time goes out the window when it's united and liverpool but also because liverpool will come and they will press us and they will go for it and i think they've got mistakes in them and i think they've got holes in them I think Barcatino, they don't really have a great squad. They they play better as a team than the sum of their parts, which is what we're not doing at the moment. The sum of our parts is less than the performance that's coming out, or it's more than the performances that we're getting out of it. So if we can build together as a team and start playing football together as a team, then you're going to see something decent out of this United side. But we are. It feels like we're a long way off at the moment. If we could just be clinical. I thought that we were getting out with Zlatan. I did think we was getting that with Latam, but not showing it. So I don't know because I was happy with the starting eleven. I don't. I don't think how. I don't see how a shake up of the starting eleven really affects this. <sighs> I think Pogba needs to uh, to turn up a little bit. Once he settles back in, we might be in for a ride, but it could be too late then. The league's probably gonna have gone by the by bonfire night, if not before, if we don't pick up. Uh, some decent points for Chelsea and Liverpool to go to. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, vlog will be out tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed the FIFA series so far. Um, if you've not seen it, go check it out, please. Um, and that's it. And there's, there's loads of content coming out all week, so go fucking watch it. And subscribe if you've not already. Going for 30k by Christmas. Need all you guys to help share it, push it, hit that like button. It all helps it get found. See you in a bit.